So we're going to start with some simple small bits of JavaScript. Before we do, there's a couple more facts that I think you should know. Firstly, the abbreviation of JavaScript is JS, not Java. Java and JavaScript are two different languages, and neither one is really based on the other. There are some similarities because they are based on some older languages, but they aren't the same. And if you try to look up something on JavaScript, and you're actually trying to do Java, it's not going to work. If you're trying to do something with JavaScript and you look up some stuff accidentally on Java, you're going to have some issues. So it's important that you realize that those are not the same languages. JavaScript is heavily used on the web, and it was specifically designed for it. JavaScript does not run on the website server. The code is actually sent to the user's computer, to your computer, and it's run and processed by your browser whether that be Firefox or Chrome or whatever you might be using. As JavaScript was intended for web use, it was intentionally given some limitations to protect users. Uh, for example, JavaScript cannot directly access files on a user's computer. So somebody can't go in and build a website using JavaScript that is going to try to damage, delete files on your machine. When it comes to JavaScript, if you have a fairly modern computer with a fairly modern browser, you have a lot of tools that you probably don't even know about. There are several ways that you can program in JavaScript without having to download anything. The first one that we're going to look at is actually already in the browser that you're using. Now we're going to use Chrome. If you're using Firefox, that's okay. You can use Firefox instead if you want to, or you can launch your own instance of Chrome, your choice.